Welcome to the Force Dex Metric Minute brought to you by Vault Performance. My name is Kareem Durkawi and today we'll talk about phase asymmetry. Now please keep in mind these are just examples. Be careful not to try and evaluate an entire movement strategy based on solely a single force time trace. More information is always needed. Now in this screenshot from the Force Dex software, the eccentric phase is in purple, the concentric phase a nice beige color, and then later on the landing occurs. Left force is in blue, right force is in orange, and if you add the two together, you'll get total force, which is in gray. Body weight is denoted by the green area that runs left to right. But let's go ahead and keep things simple. Here we see a nearly perfect counter movement jump repetition. We know it's a well-balanced force output from this individual because the left and right sides are nearly in complete harmony with one another. Here we see a little bit of a different story. There's a moderate left-sided asymmetry in the eccentric phase, a nearly perfect concentric phase, and then a very large left-sided asymmetry upon landing. Now this individual probably does not want to load fast and hard on the right side, but even more so in the landing phase when velocity is higher, peak impact force is higher, rate of force development is higher, plus there's a proprioceptive and afferent feedback demand that has to coordinate a safe and effective landing. So the stakes are higher in the landing phase, and so that's probably why the asymmetry is exacerbated there. Here we see a very clear right-sided dominance. Even before the movement begins, this individual is leaning onto the right side. So eccentric, concentric, and especially landing, we see a very large right-sided preference the entire jump through. Here there's a low slash moderate asymmetry during the eccentric and concentric phases. There's not a clear preference left side or right. However, the same cannot be said about the landing phase. So this individual might be trying to avoid impact on the right side, however, we can definitely see that the asymmetry is inconsistent in the, e in the eccentric and concentric phases, but more so in the landing phase, it's very clear. Finally, we have this idea of the breaking phase crossover point. So essentially, if you remember from previous episodes, the breaking phase is when an individual starts to reverse the trend of downward force application and start to put force in the ground, tense up and apply a lot more uh, energy to the, to the movement preparation period. So now what we see here is when that kicks in, there's a right side of preference from that moment of increasing force output. So the left side is, is above upon standing and also an unweighing, but then as soon as things start to tense up and get a little bit tougher, the right side kicks in and takes over, especially during the landing phase. Now, a couple of key takeaways is that everything's based on time and force production and movement strategy. So essentially the phase asymmetry patterns can reveal much about performance and potential injury risk. If you have any thoughts or want to follow up on anything at all that's been covered here, please reach out to us at Vault Performance or my personal email address. Thank you.